Hi, welcome back. This is video 14 of the Mayflower build and we're just um, carrying on where we left off. We got the lifeboat done but not fixed. So we've got that to fix in. Um, that's dead easy to do. I'll, I'll do that. It's um, just these couple of bits uh, down here to do just to rest it on. Just with 3v3 Give them one piece of 3 by 3 So I've just got those to cut. And then there's four eye bolts to put in and some lines to string across. So that's dead easy. I'll do that. Um, you don't need to watch me doing that. That's a bit easy. And then we are on to basically the last bit of the hull, which is installing the cat heads and shelves and the anchors and fastening those in. So we'll, uh, I'll get the lifeboat finished first and then come back and we'll we'll crack on doing this. And then we're on to just going by the plan. There's no instructions. Just on the other plan and putting the masts, putting all the masts together. That's all there is on it. After that, it's just all rigging. So we shouldn't be too long now. Oh, just one thing that I did find. I went to all the trouble, and I've left it as it is, of carving the this rudder and the tiller. And I thought I made quite a good job of that. So I left it as it is. And then just after I stopped filming, I went to throw the plastic bag away that it all came in, and I found that. <laughs> so they did supply one, but it's, it's metal and... Uh, well, I didn't make it, so I'm not changing it now. But I'm quite happy with the one I've got. So we'll leave that as it is. Right, onwards. Right, so now we've got the boat finished, the lifeboat, and stuck down. I've done the ropes to go around it. I didn't need to show you all the detail of, of doing this. I'll show to make these, these rope, rope coils. They just had a bit of extra detail. They look nice. So all he did was the um, 3x3, I think it is, the timbers that go across. Um, I didn't fix them on to start with. I just cut them to length, measured the centres, <clears throat> laid them out on the board, and then put a marked the centre line and marked it on the boat and then just stuck the boat with some super glue onto the middle of the, the sleepers there, whatever they are. And then just cut the little wedges, the little blocks to go in the sides, little wedges at the front and blocks at the back. And then drilled through and put the little eyes in, glued those in, and then the, just put the ropes across. So I'll just show you how to do those because that's the only thing. And then we're on to doing the bits on the bow for the uh, for the anchors. So all you do to make those little loops is, try and get this a bit closer, okay, so a bit of masking tape, just double it back on itself and stick it down. And then Cut your length of do some scissors really. Anyway, cut yourself some line and then just start in the center, just put your finger on it and then just thread it around. Get it as tight as you want it. Like that and then just keep going around keep your finger on it so it doesn't overlap just keep checking it just pull it a bit tighter and we go around again just 
get your finger pressed firmly on it, and then it won't uh, won't overlap, won't override. There we are. Leave that stick down, and then stick down, stuck down, and then. Glue. And a brush. Just wet the brush a bit. It'll stick. Anyway, you get the idea. And then just get some your PVA glue. Just brush it on. And leave that to set. There we go, as if by magic. So now it's set. Let's take some tweezers. Pick it up. And then just ease the tweezers underneath it. And just pull it off. There we go. I've got that overlapped a little bit there, but it's just to show you, you get the idea. And you turn it over and there's the finished article. And you just stick that down to the deck, a bit more PVA glue on the back and it'll just stick down to the deck. Easy as that. There you go. Okay. So the next thing to do is the cat heads. That's these bits for the anchor. And if you remember, I put the wrong shelves, these little brackets, I put the wrong ones. Can't see that, can you? These, I put the wrong ones on the uh, the room at the back. And I put the small ones on, so I was left with the big ones. So I've sanded them down a bit, cut them down a little bit, sanded the edges off, and I've made those. Now these bits again are just made out of the 3x3, this is to scale, so you just cut them to this size and then stuck them on, I drilled them first and my advice for drilling them, because they are so fine I can focus this now there we are, because they're so fine what I did was to use the little, the little hand drill um, just to start them off and then I use the electric drill to finish but just use this one of these just to start them off so you get them in the, exactly the right place try using the fast drill it's just going to spin off in all directions so that was those and I stuck the shelves on and then we're just ready to sand the backs off and cut this little bit and then cut this little bit off the front on these bulwarks just to house the shelf on there like that. Um, which one does it go on? It says it goes on the middle one so it's a bit lower down. But they're too close together so I'm gonna end up cutting it off both. Cut a bit off both of those and same the other side. Yeah. So I need to cut a little bit off those and then stick those on there. So we'll just mark them. They need to be flush right with the front of the uh, bulwark. Look at the steady stands in the world. It's that one. There we are, that'll fit right on there. And then the same the other side and we'll glue them on. So that's got those on. They're both on. 
and we're coming to the end of actually working on the hull. Try to get those set before we touch anything else on there. But the next bit we have to do is put the anchors together, which come in a little kit. There's two in the pack. Oh, they're easy. On some of them, these this bit comes in two halves, and you have to sandwich them around the shank of the the anchor. These are drilled and all in one piece, but going to have to be opened out somewhat, and make sure I put them on the right way around, so they go on. 90 degrees to the anchor and with the chamfers facing downwards. So I'll just open those holes out and uh, fit that on and then we've got the little brass fittings that go on like that. But they need to be blacked. They were never shiny brass like that. So I'll black those down, put the anchors together, and then we will start with fastening things on. And then we will be looking at assembling the masts. Right, so I've got the anchors put together. They're not quite as bright brass as they were, the fittings. I just opened these holes out with just a little rat tail file, just put it in. Twisted it around just gently to open the uh, open the holes out for the anchor to go through. Dead easy, and then put the ring on there as well. So they're done, and then I looked at the instructions for the next bit, um, which all part of it really is the block, the block and tackle to drop down through the cat heads when they've set. Now, again, these instructions. We've got a big pack of rope here, which is obviously this one for the anchor. And then there's this one that I use for the coils uh, to fasten the lifeboat down with. And then there are... I'll not get them out, but there's another three sizes. And they're all in this colour. But nothing tells you what to use. It says this rope is 157 so you look up 157 in the contents list 157 tackle rope. I don't know what that means. So there's nothing on sizes um, so it's a bit of guesswork. So we can do that but then we need to make up these blocks again 159 it says hook when you look at the contents hook well, we can all see that's a hook, but there's no hook, so all we have got is some brass wire here, and I've made one. You can see that, probably not. Can we focus on that? Yeah, just there we go. It's quite easy to do, really, but I don't know whether you can see me do it. The holes need to go to the same side as the hook. So you're not able to see this, I'm sure. Just thread it around. Just bring it in as tight as you can. Like that. You can cross them over. Again, tight as you can. Let's put one twist on it. And then I've got some long nose pliers. You've got to be careful because you can snap this so easy. Just tighten that up. That's it. 
and then cut that side off. And then I use my pliers with the round bit on one side and flat on the other to put the round bit in the middle. And just work it around. Make a nice tight hook. There we go. And then just cut the end off. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that's got the anchor done on that side, uh, all assembled, the rings on, threaded through the block, got the hose are all on, fitted through, so now we'll do the other side and show you how I did it. Well that's the plan anyway. So, first thing we need to do is to get the block threaded and hung on here. and these little tiny holes and you can see well you know what they are anyway tiny little holes and the easiest way to thread them is to use super glue and just dip the end in it just a little bit like that, and then just do that. Try not to stick your fingers together. It just makes the end of it go hard, like a needle. Oh yeah. And then we start threading the front rear. So, just thread it down through the first hole. There we go. And then, it needs to go through. If you hold the block the way it faces, um, we need the hook facing the back really so if we hold it that way which is the way it's supposed to go and then we can take that and oh, wait a minute that's through the that's through the right one through the front down through the front rear so it goes through the right hand hole on the block like that and then it goes back up through the rear hole that was a good shot Lock in the position it's supposed to be in. Like that. It's a bit different to the plan. Have I done that? Gone down there. Through the block. Ah. It doesn't come up that one. That's a shame. That's a good shot as well actually comes up the one next to it oh, I've got that one as well there we go and then 
guys can see what I'm doing. To keep the block held where it should be. And then back down the front hole. Change hands, it's good to be ambidextrous. And then back through the other hole in the block. Gotta keep hold of the block, otherwise you get it twisted if you're not careful. And then it goes back up and ties to the eye. Just a couple of half inches. Don't want to play. There we go. And then just pull on this, hold the block again. Pull on this until you get it back. You more or less want it. It's about there. Matching the one on the other side. And then just cut a bit of length off this and just tie it off temporary around one of the stanchions. That's it. So that's that bit done. That's the uh, block fitted on. And then we need to put the anchor on. So a bit of the uh, thicker rope for the hoser. Cut a bit of that off. Use the wrong stuff, aren't I? Wrong. So, this is the right size. Thought it tied a bit easy. Let's try that again. It's around here. Pinch it a bit. Two half inches. Just 
to work them tight as you can get them without breaking that brass ring. There we go. Right, let's try the super glue on there again, shall we? nice and short. That's it. Right, so we'll leave that for now until we get the other bit on. So that goes that way around. Goes through there. Right, now we need to make the loop. This piece. This piece here. That holds it up. And to do that, we'll use the piece of string we just used by mistake. So, I'm going to show you this. Right, so, you need a loop and we need to tie it. So take a bit of the real thin stuff. Make a loop, size you want it, approximately. A bit bigger is about that, I think. Right, so make a loop. And then we need to bind it. And to bind it, You make a loop in this, like that, and lay it along there, and hold all that together, and then take the long end, and start to bind it around, working back towards your fingers, not away from them. See that goes over, but it's going back towards my fingers. And another one. And then hold that. Carry on. Working away from you now. Very difficult to do this. Watching what I'm doing and making sure I've got it in the in the picture. Right, so that'll about do to there, and then thread it back through that loop like that, and then just clamp all that, get the short end, and pull. It's all slid up tight. Let's pull that tight again. Just missed one. Let's pull it tight. That's it. So that loop is now slipped down inside the bindings. It's all held together. And then, good old super glue. A little drop on the knot. Make sure you get the ends. That. And then you can cut the loose ends off. Just 
Just make sure you've got the right bit. Must invest in a better pair of scissors. These are rubbish. No wonder she gave them to me out of a sewing basket. Go and buy your own, Paul. There we go. That's it. Just hope I made it big enough now. So that goes. Sorry about the camera moving around a lot, but it's the only way I can show you. So put that around that one. Thread it through. Back through, back through itself. Not thumbs today. There we go. And then away. Then we just need to make the, get the hose to the right length. That's going to be about it. Obviously I've drilled these out. It's focusing on there, isn't it? Not where I need it to be. There we go. So I've drilled this out. So I'm going to... Just run a bit of glue around in there. Make sure the stick doesn't stick. And then some on the end of here. Push it in a little way. There we are. That's it. We'll get the ropes all to a better shape and stretched out, maybe with some uh, PVA. They're not too bad as they are, actually. hanging down a bit better so that's it and that's the hole finished i might come back and put some more detail on like some uh, coiled ropes or thing or things at a later date but for now that is it so that's the end of this video um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we're gonna have a good clear up 
Um, so next week, hopefully, we'll have started on the masts. So see you then. Thank you.